Are you brand spanking new to audio? Just getting your feet wet? The most important consideration may not be what you expect. Let's find out what that is. Audio file go. Greetings, bugs. Stuart Charles here, HomeStudioBasics.com, helping you make sound decisions leading to a beautiful audio experience that will make you fall in love with music all over again. So, let's get into the top five most important considerations to make if you're new to headphone audio. Number five, your headphone cables. Not very important. Lots of snake oil here. Next! No, I mean, I'm, I'm planning to do a video on um, balanced versus unbalanced cables, but by and large, I would say that uh, this is a consideration to make last and why it's hence why it's number five on the list uh, number four the DAC amp oh boy my favorite part of audio says me never yo dog I heard you like amp DACs even more so than yo ass did last time so this time around we brought a truckload of amps and DACs in and we put different sizes and sound signatures on all of them just so you could whip out your ruler and measure before you buy a DAC is important as it gets the music from point A to point B, i.e. the digital to analog conversion. If you don't know what a DAC is, it just converts digital information into a uh, sound that your brain can understand. But it's still only a tool. I mean, the most important consideration about DACs is output impedance and flavor. A low output impedance ensures consistency across various different impedance loads, but higher output impedance amps could result in a fantastic sound depending on the headphone. So say for instance an HD600 with something like a bottle head crack is a perfect example of that. There's a little bit more distortion there, but like I said in another video, it actually contributes to the sound uh, to the headphones sounding a little bit better, or a little bit warmer, a little bit more lush. Do keep in mind that those types of amps do work best with um, higher impedance headphones. So, if you want an honest representation of the sound signature, choose an amp DAC with a low output impedance. Basically, flavor is what um, all the above results in, i.e. a warmer sound or a more uh, crisp, cool, neutral sound. That's basically it in a nutshell as far as DACs are concerned. Number three, your listening environment. Ideally, it will be quiet, free from distractions. Ambient sound, noisy neighbors. <laughs> Dogs barking. <laughs> that guy taking a massive dump next door, sounding like he's giving birth. <laughs> With closed backs, you won't have to worry about this quite as much, but with open backs and semi-open headphones, it's more of a different story, and because I prefer open backs, uh, I have to keep these things in mind more often. Number three, the headphones. All headphones have different sound signatures, and the impact that they can have on your music is significant. Even so, it's still gonna point to my number one consideration. Bad source equals shitty sound. There's no getting around it. Even pristine source files can turn a mediocre headphone into a good one. Which leads me to my number one most important consideration to make if you're new to headphone audio is your source file. It doesn't matter how good your gear is. If the quality of the song was poor, it was badly recorded, mixed, and or mastered, you're still amplifying bad sound. Please, please, for the love of all things holy, understand this important concept. If you don't take anything else away from this video, just please pay attention to this point. That's, this is all I really wanted you to get out of this. These are basic sound engineering principles and will never change no matter what. So I've been making beats for on and off for about 13 or so years now and I understand this probably more so than the average person would. Just ask anybody who makes beats or mixes or masters or anything to do with sound engineering and you will start to understand that it's more so about the track in question and less about anything else. My advice would be to invest in something like Tidal Hi-Fi or Spotify Premium or just use FLAC files like those you'd get from your CDs, etc, etc. So think 16-bit 44K, 24-bit 44K, 24-bit 48K, or 24-bit 96K. Anything above that doesn't matter. DSD doesn't matter. Why is this? It's because of the Nyquist-Shannon sampling theorem, which basically states that the upper magnitude of a piece of digital audio will only top out at half the sample rate. So, so what does this mean? If you have a 24-bit 96K file, you're only going to be able to hear half of that, which is 48K. I can math! If you also consider that the average human cannot hear anything above 20K, it basically means that all of this shit is snake oil and vastly, vastly overrated. Um, for instance, I can't even hear probably much past 15. Like, I have really good hearing, but I would say mine ranges in between 
15 to 18, maybe a little bit more than that, but you gotta think about the fact that bit depth is way more important. So the amount of information being sampled uh, is more important than the rate because, again, you can't hear anything above 20, so. Yeah, that's it. This is the shortest video I've ever done. Well, that's about it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this discussion. Leave me some love down in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. If you like what I do here and you want to support the channel in a more personal way, hit that Patreon link down below. Yeah. And last but not least, don't forget to ask me about my grandchildren, yeah? Check it. Uh, yeah. And don't feed the troll, yeah? Yeah. yeah. All the fake rappers yeah. out there. Check. Uh, check. Yeah. Smokey Robinson. One time. Yeah. Yeah. Old school, man. Check. Esoteric Eric. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Who's that? Check it. Who is it? Yeah. 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 It's Duke Black. Here I am with the review once, once again. True. By this point, you gotta know I'm deadly with the pen. Woo. You wanna battle me? Sh I'll gladly take the win. You whip a caddy, but it's wrecked. I'm rolling fatties and I'm spent. Call me Lassie. I'm legit. I save the day, but I'm no fever pitch. I'm kinda sick. I spit retarded. I'm autistic and it fits. I'm like a kid on Christmas morning. It's a cinch. You overthinking it again. I'm dropping with some in a pinch. I know you listening to this. Cause I be ripping it to bits. I get the gap and I'm on my shit. I'm popping red pills and I'm rich. I'll make you quiver with my lips. I'll make you shiver with my stanzas. It's a hit like Sinatra in the mob. I come equipped a little bit like Tech Nine. I keep it lit. I fire sign. I'm dangerous. Out of control. I majored and I play to win. Do me a favor and just quit.